I'm going to give you a small demonstration of the incredible water absorbing capabilities of Ceramis. I'll do this compared to two different substrates that you might normally use to grow your plants at home. Here I have three identical cylinders, each with a small hole in the bottom. So here is another of the cylinders and it's just a very straightforward cylinder with a hole at the end. Each of the cylinders is filled with half a litre of substrate. A hydroclay, a standard plant soil and ceramis clay granules. I'm going to add the same amount of water to each of these cylinders. What I've done here is I've coloured the water with a blue dye just to make it easier to see. It is just a colourant. As the water is added to the substrate, some will be immediately taken up, but any excess that can't be absorbed will run through the cylinder, through the hole and into this little glass container. The less water you see in the glass container, the more water is directly stored in the substrate for the plant to use. First, let's see what happens with the hydroclay. So I'm going to try and pour the water slowly and evenly. And you can see almost straight away that the water is running through the hydroclay and into the glass container. As you can see, the hydroclay absorbs hardly any water. The pores on the surface are completely closed, so the water mostly runs through the hydroclay without being absorbed, and because it's not being absorbed, it isn't available for the plant to use. Now we have some dry standard soil. This is the type of soil you'd buy at any garden centre or DIY store. It hasn't been treated, it is just a normal garden soil. Again, I will try and pour slowly and evenly. And I think the first thing you'll see is there is a pool of water at the top of the soil. You see it moving? So the water is being absorbed quite slowly, but I will keep pouring slowly and gently. And you can see the colour of the soil is changing as some of the water is being absorbed, but already some of the water is going through the soil and into the container. So you can see that only part of the water is being absorbed. That means that the plant will not have a good supply of water available to it. All the water down here that hasn't been taken up is either going to run away to waste or it's going to sit at the bottom of your plant pot and that won't do your plants any good at all. Now I will try and balance that on the top. 
carefully and let the water continue to run through. Now let's look at what happens with ceramis. Ceramis is made from pure, clean, natural clay from the Westerwald region in Germany. And because of its consistent, open pore structure, it easily absorbs water and fertilizer. So again, I will try and pour slowly and wet the surface. And the first thing you will see is that there is no pool of water at the top. The ceramis changes color from the light terracotta to this darker red as the water is being absorbed. Again, I'm trying to pour carefully and evenly. This will be much more careful, I am sure, than you will water your plants at home. So you can see a little of the water is coming through. Ceramis is behaving just like a solid sponge. Most of it is being absorbed and a little water is passing through. I hope this little demonstration has convinced you that ceramis absorbs water and nutrients so much better than many other substrates. Because of the optimum balance of water, nutrients and the air that's between the ceramis granules, a plant gets just the right balance of what it needs. You can see from this little experiment the amount of water that has run through that is not available for the plant to use. Ceramis is a natural, clean product. It doesn't compact and it provides the ideal conditions for all your plants. I do hope you've enjoyed this little demonstration.